Good morning, everyone. Please rise. Please turn your hymn book to page 82. Today, we will sing the hymn number 43, Shine, Jesus, Shine. Let's sing first one once. the world shine upon us set us free by the truth you now bring us shine on me shine on me shine Jesus shine fill this land with the Father's glory where spirit plays set our hearts on fire flow river flow with grace and mercy stand forth your word Lord and let there be light Please turn our hymn book to page 11 and refer to item number 30 Today's scripture is taken from Romans chapter 11 verse 36 Please listen to God's word For from him and through him and to him are all things To him be the glory forever Amen Romans chapter 11, verse 36. Let's read it together. For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. Romans chapter 11, verse 36. Let's pray. Dear our Heavenly Father, thank you for ways in which you provide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Thank you for creating all of us and make us unique. May Lord strengthen those who are going to have the reflective storytelling so that we can learn from their experience. Help us focus our hearts and minds on now on what we are about to learn today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please be seated. Good morning, principal, vice and assistant principal, teachers and fellow schoolmates. Today is the time for storytelling to facilitate a chance for us to reveal our strengths and weaknesses and set goals. We should thank our class teachers in supervising us to tell our own stories during the last two months. Please give them a round of round applause. And today, we thank our school for providing a platform for all storytellers to share the prominent stories with us. The best storytellers are Form 4, Lee Ho Quen, Chow Cho Woon Leslie, Antonio Angelotti, Lee Ji Lok, Mu Wing Sum, Chu Ki Yin, Form 5, Lao Kun Fong, Tang Hiu Chong, Lee Wen Yan, Lee Hao Hin, Liu Ho Ying, Tan Wing Chi, and Ken Wing Sum. Please give them a warm welcoming. Can't wait to hear the stories. So please now we invite Lee Ho Quen from 4A to share his stories with us. Uh, good morning, principal, vice and assistant principal, teachers and fellow students. This is my reflective storytelling. So who am I? Um, I'm from 4A and my name is Lee Ho Kran Boris and my electives are chemistry, biology, physics and French. And unfortunately I'm the only person who picked French in Form 4. Pretty lonely. Um, my strengths are dedicated, attentive and diligent. I will study every day and I will pay attention very closely in lessons. Um, my weaknesses are Vindictive, shy, and incautious. Vindictive means I'm not very forgiving sometimes, and when other people commit mistakes, I wouldn't be very forgiving. My achievements are I improved from number 37 in Form 2 to number 4 in Form 3, and I obtained a grade A piano and grade 5 violin merit. Um, if you work hard and persevere, you can and will get what you want. This is a quote by me. <laughs> Uh, 
So room for further improvement. I will figure a more effective way to study through trial and error. So if I commit mistakes in tests and quizzes, I will prevent making it in exams. And I will be more outgoing by helping other people and exert self-confidence in front of peers. So my goals for the years, they are top five in class, improve Chinese language fluency, be fluent in French, and serve the needy. My implementation and monitoring plan. In order to get top five in class, I would study every day. Um, and in, in order to improve Chinese language fluency, I would start vigorous reading of Chinese novel, at least read two novels per month. And in order to be fluent in French, I would replace English with French as everyday language in life. So I would try to pronounce object with French. And in order to serve the needy, I would join clubs that is pertinent with social service, like the CYC that I just joined. Um, nobody is a natural. You work hard to get good and then work hard to get better. It's hard to say on top. It's a quote by Paul Coffey. So let's get started. Thanks. Thank you. We will now invite the next storyteller, Chow Chow and Leslie from 4B. Okay, so good morning everyone. Um, today I would like to share my story with all of you. So let me introduce myself first. Um, I'm Leslie from 4B. And yet, who am I? Um, I have chosen chemistry, biology, and history as my elective this year. And I love traveling a lot. And I want to join the Daughters with the Brother in the future. So the boy besides me is my brother. I believe that most of you know who he is. So let's talk about my strength. Um, I think I'm a cheerful and friendly person. I love to smile a lot and know more friends. Um, yes, I believe that smile is the shortest distance between two people. So always smile and keep smiling. And the girl beside me is, uh, is one of my friends who is studying in Good Hope School. So let's talk about my weaknesses. Um, I'm a forgetful and I have poor time management. Um, I seldom finish my exam paper on time and I would like to improve these weaknesses in the future. And I'm quite emotional as well. I hope uh, I would like to thank my friend who always forgive me, yes. Um, achievement, I have got fair academic result in the previous year and our team, the St. John Nursing, has won the interdivisional competition champion. So these are my teammates. Um, about my action plan, I have two goals this year. Firstly, I would like to get a grade B or above in all subjects by using some mind map to summarize the things I have learned or, and have pre-lesson preparation as well. Moreover, I would like to have a better time management by having a well-organized schedule and prioritize my words. I think using memo pad is a good practice as well. You can try to have this practice too. So lastly, I would like to end my quote, end my sharing with a quote. So um, I believe that every one of you has a dream. So what's your dream? Um, maybe sometimes you will face challenges or negative comments from others. But I hope that you guys can never, for, ne never, for, for, never give up and remember why you are start. Um, sometimes life hits you in the head with a break, but don't lose your faith and be persistent. I believe that if you aim for the moon, even if you've missed it, you will land among the stars. So thank you. Thank you, Leslie. We will now invite Antonio, our exchange student from 4C, to share his story with us. Chosan, I'm Antonio Ancelotti. When I arrived here, I received another name, Congo Khan. Kong means a long river full of charm. No, <laughs> a long river, okay. <laughs> oh means uh, charm and pride, and Khan, then uh, uh, diligent. So I'm hardworking. I don't know, but uh, my name means hardworking. My strengths, I'm very creative, passionate, and independent. Like, I like to travel, I love to travel. And when I go somewhere, I want to do things by my own way. My weakness, I'm lazy, 
lack of focus, and the moody and melancholy. Like sometimes I'm very happy, sometimes I'm very sad. I don't know why. I'm like this. Achievements. I'm here. I left my home in Italy and I'm here in Hong Kong. Now I have a new family, new brothers, everything is new. Also the school. My short term goals. I want to master one of the most, like, uh, I want to master Cantonese, that for me it's impossible. And uh, make a lot of friends and uh, win the inter house football competition. Thai house is the best. <laughs> How to accomplish these, wo these goals? I want to repeat every Chinese word that I hear and attend every football training and be friendly and polite. Add oil. Long term goals. Okay. Uh, okay. I want to be always happy. Life is short. So use the time. And I want to find a job that encourages me to, like, uh, to wide my horizons, like to meet always new people and to always life new experience. And I want to travel, like travel, 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 travel. And so join also UFS. It's a beautiful experience. How to accomplish these goals? Eh, study. We always need to study. Because if you study, you can earn more. And maybe also the skills that maybe now you think uh, maybe they, are, they will be useless, you will understand in the future that they are very use useful for your life. And the only obstacle that exists is the one that we are allowed to exist. So uh, work hard, play hard. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Antonio. He's really humorous, right? <laughs> we will now invite Lee Ji Lok from 4D. Testing, testing. Uh, good morning, everyone. Today I will share my best story to all of you. Yeah, I'm Ricky. Uh, I know about six languages, about Japanese, English, Putonghua, Cantonese, Korean, and Spanish, yeah. And uh, for my strength, uh, I love acting. Uh, I will just draw some drama, uh, free test sports. Yeah, confident. Yeah, I love to speak. Uh, I feel free to speak over all of us. And uh, sporty. Yeah, I love soccer. Yeah, the right one is the real magic. That's my favorite football team. Yeah. For cooking, uh, I love sushi. I love dessert. So I will just make them. Uh, in the past, I'll just make. Uh, Try today and uh, for dancing, Taiwanese pop, Japanese pop, Korean pop. Yeah, I love it. <clears throat> for my witnesses, uh, I think I'm uh, something introverted. That's uh, uh, I sometimes, I, sometimes I don't want to share something to all of you on a calm uh, manner. Uh, uh, something I'm assertive. I'll just do what I want to do and just uh, let them go. Yeah. Modish, yeah, trendy, trendy, always in my mind. <laughs> oh, uh, just wear some trendy clothes and yeah, nothing. <clears throat> For my achievements, uh, I've got great B in physics, chemistry, PE, IT, music last year, and uh, piano with some distinctions. And uh, something special is the theater sports I joined last summer. It's about some acting skills. Uh, the judge gives some uh, regulations, and you should just do in one minute. Yeah. <clears throat> Talking about personal goals. Uh, for academic, I want to got great B in uh, all subjects, and uh, I'll perceive it in the R test. For I want to get grade seven. Yeah. For the law academic ones, I want to join some serving activities, for example, selling flats near me and uh, tie windows for black belt. Uh, why I play tie window for years? This is this because uh, my dream is uh, to want to be a businessman, and uh, tie window can uh, give me some resilience when I got fall down on the ground and need to get up and uh, just keep on the competition. Yeah. It can uh, enhance my resilience for my future business, which I may face some difficulties in my job. Yeah. <clears throat> for my implement, uh, academic plan, I will revise uh, study after school every day and uh, ask questions when I have some trouble. Alas, I will seek some advice from some talents. Yeah. 
non academic ones for business, I will just read the uh, Steve Jobs secret book. Yeah, <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> I uh, uh, also uh, practice piano and Taekwondo every day and uh, just try to join some surfing activities, yeah. <clears throat> uh, hope all of you have your goal and uh, just embrace your challenge and go for it. Action speed louder than words, so just go for it. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Lee Ji Lok. We will now invite M Wing Sum from 4E. Good morning. Today, I would like to share my reflective storytelling. First, I will introduce myself. I'm M Wing Sum from 4E and I study accounting, chemistry, and visual arts. I love using acrylic to draw paintings, and I'm also a food lover. I love desserts and hamburgers. They are delicious as shown in the picture. For my strengths, I'm perseverant and I'm helpful. I love helping people and I'm optimistic. For my weaknesses, I'm too easy to follow others and I don't have my own opinion and I'm too lazy and not serious enough in academic, and I'm weak in Chinese. For my achievements, I've chose electives according to my interests, and I got grade seven in violin, and I have learned many Thai boxing skills. My room for further improvement, I believe I had to pr practice more boxing skills in order to protect myself, and I had to try to speak out and to be brave. For the personal goal for 2014 to 2015, for academic, I want to get a passing total mark for each subject, and for non-academic of serving others, I will try my very best to help the needy and serve the others with an open heart. I hope to have achieved 10 service hours at the end of the school year. For my implementation and monitoring plan, for academic, I will set a timetable for myself and I will do more exercises and plan more time for my elective studies. For non-academic of serving others, I will serve my family and friends. These are all I wanted to share about today. Thank you. Thank you, Ng Wing Sam. We will now invite Chu Ki In to share her story with us. Good morning, everyone. Today, I will share my reflective storytelling. I'm Chu Ki Yin from Form 4F, and I'm studying biology and chemistry as my electives. My hobbies are watching movies or TV dramas, and I like to read books, especially novels. It always has something I can learn from the novels or movies, like how to like the meaning of life, like how to be brave. They may not be real, but they taught me to love, to care, to dream. They helped me to find our real nature, find our real friends, so they are real to me. Uh, the photo written that take what you need, but actually we can take what we want, like forgiveness. Sometimes we can forgive someone so easily, so we have to learn, we have to uh, build up or develop our own personality. In my own strength, I think I have a kind heart, I can be patient and very helpful. That's why I joined GPA for two years. In my witnesses, I'm a very emotional person. Uh, after I finish a very touching book, I will uh, can control my emotion easily. And I'm not good at math, uh, so last year my mathematic result is not very good. Uh, my achievements are joining GPA for two years. The room for further improvement. I want to improve my math. I want better academic result, at least all pass, and I will more active for helping others. In the personal goal for academic way, 
Great things never come from comfort zone, so we have to move out of the comfort zone to get what we want. Uh, I want math get a pass, so I will do mathematic exercise every day, at least an hour. And in other subject, I want to get 50% or better, so I will fight once a week. And in order to get in top 10 in class, I will make a study plan for myself. In long academic way, I will precipitate more volunteer words. And when someone get a problem, I will do whatever I can to help them. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Chu Ki Yin. The next storyteller is Lao Kun Fong from 5A. Testing. 大家好，我係五尾班嘅劉冠峰同學。我今日會分享我嘅大城市小故事。天生我才必有用，我係一個好嘅聆聽者。我會細心聆聽每一位嘅誒同學嘅需求，誒同埋誒，我係一個樂觀嘅人啦。我我會以積極咁樣面對逆境，同埋我會接納誒別、呃、人嘅意見，同埋有耐性咁聽從誒、呃、老師嘅教訓。咁我都有啲缺點啦，我份人就比較懶散嘅，以前成日欠交功課，但係呢幾排又已經改善咗啦。同埋我份人又成日好大意啦，同埋。我誒、呃，我比較唔相信別人嘅，同埋面對住大家都比較緊張。咁喺上一年啦，我又參加咗啲社社會活動。以前我就比較內向嘅，做呢啲賣旗活動。但係上年嗰啲同學就帶我去唔同地方，就嗌多啲人去賣旗啦。咁令賣旗就令到我可以。呃、更加投入參與呢個活動，另外我都亦都為咗幼稚園嗰啲同學去設計咗啲攤位遊戲，見到佢哋樂在其中，我都感到非常滿足。咁我順利咁樣升到中五啦，咁我都誒、呃、覺得呢個係一個新開始、新旅程，但係誒、呃、DSC 都就嚟接近啦，係啊。咁呢個就係我嘅目標、呃。第一個最緊要咧，就係要喺誒上學期嘅考試裏面通識要,要合格啦。跟住達成咗呢個目標之後，咁我就希望可以喺文憑試裏面各科都有 level four 或者以上嘅成績啦。同埋我希望喺月尾嘅時候，最少喺運誒、呃、六運會攞到一個獎牌。咁我一出世咧，就已經對呢個地球感到非常好奇，所以我希望志願係、呃、做一個地質學家啦。咁希望誒對呢個地球嘅起源同埋構造誒進、呃、行研究。咁喺考察各地過程啦，咁我都希望可以實現我兒時誒環遊世界嘅夢想。一日之計在於晨啦。咁我又誒、呃、有目標就必須有計劃嘅。咁第一啦，我要每日花三,三小時去温習課本知識啦，跟住再額外花多一小時去閱讀課外書籍同埋報章。咁同埋我要每個星期參進行、呃、三次嘅跑步訓練。咁關於我嘅職業咧，我要喺互聯網同埋大學嘅諮詢日啦，誒、呃、誒、呃、尋找關於適合自己職業嘅學系
咁考喺誒找到適合自己嘅科目之後咧，就為呢個文憑試做好準備啦。咁喺內在方面咧，我要有一個清晰嘅頭腦去進行思考同埋分析啦。咁諗多啲嘢，咁、呃呃、通識都會考得好啲啦。咁同埋我要有一個充足嘅睡眠同埋休息時間。咁令到我可以喺上堂專心啲。Living without an aim is like sailing without a compass。我希望大家可以大個揾到適合自己嘅工種，然後建立自己一個美好嘅人生。多謝。Thank you, Lao Kun Fong. We will now invite Tang Hiu Chong from 5B to share her story with us. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Tang Hiu Chong from 5B, and today I'm here to share my story with you. And I'm going to start with my strengths. I believe that I'm persistent and also patient person. I won't stop trying and working until I reach a certain standard or until I achieve my goals. For example, I f when I face a problem, when solving a mathematics question, I won't stop trying until I can solve the problem by myself without getting annoyed most of the time. And I also believe that I'm a good listener. And I also think that this is a very important responsibility or ability in order to enhance your relationship with the others. Whenever my family members or friends don't feel right, I always try to listen to them with my heart and try to find ways out to help them. And of course, I have weaknesses. I have poor communication skills. I don't really know how to communicate with the others properly, especially for strangers and also people that I'm not familiar with. And I am quite shy. And I also have poor emotional control. I get stressed very easily, and I know that I have to deal with it because it is affecting me mentally. And I believe that if I'm less stressed and more confident in myself, I can perform better. And I am also weak in Chinese subjects in all areas, and I know I have to work harder this year as it is a very important curriculum. This uh, for it is a very important core subject in the curriculum. And I have a few ch achievements, and they are basically in dancing. For examinations, I got honors with distinction in gold star and honors in gold medal and gold bar. And I also got a pass in the ATOD junior teacher written and practical examination, which means that I'm not, I, I am now qualified to teach. For competition, I got a highly commended award in jazz and street dance duet in the school's dance festival back in 2012 with my sister, and that was the first time for us to take part in a competition. And I also got a silver award in the ATOD Pan Asia dancing competition with a group of girls from the same studio on the 1st of October. And I would like to improve a few things. The first one is definitely Chinese subjects, as I've mentioned just now, and I would like and I would like to improve my dance techniques as I really would love to be a professional dancer and I'm not good enough at the moment. And I would like to try to find ways for myself to relax and I think dancing is quite a good choice. For my goals this school year, I, uh, for academic area, I would like to be at the top 10 of the whole form and to finish all the four artworks and also the art portfolio and to get a great B or above in Chinese. But at, that is a bit difficult for me because I got a D. And also for non-academic area, I would love to get at least honors in gold star of the ATOD Jazz Muse examination, which is a new syllabus. And I, will, and I would love to identify my interest in programs in the universities by going to universities open days. And also to identify my dream job. My dream job is definitely to be a professional dancer as I love dancing and I have been dancing since I was um, three. And I am also developing an interest to become a nurse in a veterinary clinic, but that would be difficult as I have to go overseas to pursue my future studies. And I would love to read daily in order to improve my Chinese subjects and to practice dancing at least twice a week and also go to universities open days to motivate myself. And that's it for my story, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Tang Hiu Chong. 
The next storyteller will be Ten, will be Li Wen Yan from 5C. Hi everyone, let's begin with my introduction. I'm Li Wen Yan Angelica from Form 5C, who's taken art, economics, and BAFS as my electives. I enjoy dancing, singing, and painting in my leisure time. And these are my achievements. Let's talk about my strengths. I have a good time management skills. Maybe many of you think that time management skills is simple and easy to achieve it, but most of you can't. A good time management skills is vital and important for our job, because especially when we are going to have an interview. And moreover, I think I have a good communication skills. At least I'm confident enough to stand on the stage. And I'm a cheerful girl who got lots of creative ideas. <laughs> However, I have many weaknesses too. I'm a super, super lazy girl, so that I won't follow my timetable and I'll always finish my work in the last minute. Besides, I'm emotional sometimes. When I can't get my things done, I will be easily angry. Let's talk about my story. I remember when I was young, about one and a half years old, I broke my arm accidentally, and after that, I became a left-hander. Because some of the famous artists, like Da Vinci, were left-hander too, and I'm always and I interested in painting at that time, so that I determined to be a famous artist. My dream job is to be a famous artist. When I earn enough money, I can even open an art gym for teaching. The most important criteria for my dream job is happy, so that maybe many of you think that I need to be an accountant because I study BFS, and an accountant can earn a stable income, but, I will, but being an artist can. But I will still follow my dream because I love painting and I enjoy every occupation about arts. Let's move on to my goals and implementation. I want to score a better result than Form 4, so that I will pay attention in class. And I will, not, I will, I will pay extra, extra attention in class. When I feel sleepy, I will ask my friend to wake me up. Besides, I would like to enrich my language levels. So I know many of you don't like reading English books, so that I would recommend you to, read, uh, to listen to more English songs. When I listen to English songs, if I, know, if I don't know some words, and I will try to search their meanings and drop down in the notes. Also, I would like to do revision on every subject every day. So I will do my revision with my friends and ask them to monitor me. For example, we will help each other, each other to keep their phones until we finish our study. To be an artist, I need to have a deep understanding on every artist. So that's why I need to do more research about different artists. And I will not only search them, but I will keep it in mind and jot them down. After that, I need to join more competitions and experience more in order to experience more. Rome wasn't built in a day. Let's work hard together. Thank you. Thank you, Li Wen Yan. We will now invite Li Hao Hin from 5D. Good morning, everyone. <coughs> Today, I would like to share you the story about myself, uh, my free, uh, my future goals and my way of life. Yeah, I'm Roy Lee, a member of 5D and uh, I'm number 20. Now, let me tell you what do I like to do in my leisure time. Instead of having tutorial classes and other sorts of classes, I like go traveling during vacations and I play video games at home. I like traveling and I think 
what we learn from our experiences is far important than what we learn in our classes. I like gaming not just because it's fun, but I'm also learning from it. Learning from what you like is far effective than just reciting your books. But remember, I'm not telling you to give up your study, but to get a balance between doing what you like and your study, as study is your most important step to achieve your goal. Okay, let me talk about my strength. I'm a creative person. I like to build models by Lego blocks and in some sandbox games. Because of my creativity, I can give interesting ideas in my work and I can make jokes too. Besides, I'm a sociable person, so I'm a guidance prefect of the school. And I got lots of friends too. I got friends from my previous classes and during the um, local exchange program. Friends are always important in your life. They can bring you problems and troubles, but they can also bring you love and care. Yes, I'm a lazy person. I always complete my tasks just before the due date. So, so as this PowerPoint. I never say yes immediately whenever I got a request. This always annoyed my friends and family. Besides, I'm physically weak too. I easily get tired and fall ill. If you watch my last year's presentation, you may already know what my dream is, and my dream job is being a pilot. I want to be a pilot because it's just one of my interests. Remember, you are just wasting your time if your job doesn't suit your interests. And you can know what do I need to do next by reading the graph below. Then, let's have a review on my last year's goals. Surprisingly, all of my last year's goals uh, were achieved. So I, I have some new goals for the coming year. As I'm already in Form 5, I would like to know more about UPAS and the universities. Get the B in PE and find the best way to learn. In order to achieve my goals, I will search on the internet for more info about UPAS. Join the, in, the info days to know more about each university and do more exercise to improve my PE and try different ways to learn effectively. Last but not least, I hope you can always remember, you can learn more by traveling a thousand miles than reading a thousand books. Wish you all can fly high and achieve your dream. Thank you. Thank you, Lee Hao Hin. We will now invite Liu Ho Yang from 5E. So good morning, everyone. I'm Phoebe from 5E. And first, I want to talk about my concept since I was young, which is I was born this way, therefore I don't have to change because of others' criticisms. And I'm studying geography, economics, and also accounting this year. And my long-term goal is to be a teacher in the future. And why can I be so sure about myself and have this kind of concept? It's because I'm very clear about my own strengths and also weaknesses. I think I'm better in academic results of English as I have tutorial lessons since I was young. And for a non-academic, I think I'm a good observer and I'm a punctual person. I hate to be late. However, everyone has their own weaknesses and so do I. And I have poor mathematics results and also unstable Chinese accounting results as I don't really get the concept behind. And non-academically, I think I'm super lazy, as I think most of you might say that you're also very lazy. And I have low perseverance. I'm easily distracted by other stuff. For example, when I'm doing my math homework and if a book is placed on my table, I'll just go for it and read it instead of focusing on my work. And I'm an impatient person and I'm very emotional. Sometimes I cry a lot. 
However, I'm also very satisfied about the achievements that I had last year. I had a flag selling experience for the SBCA, and also I achieved a conduct prize and also the first runner up in the Best Improved Student Award. However, I'm still not satisfied about the results as I think I can do better, for example, getting the champion. And I set up many goals for myself to achieve. And the first academic goal is about the uh, improvement for my math, Chinese and also accounting results. And at last, I hope to get into the university, which I wanted to. And for non-academically, I hope to accumulate 20 service hours, as I think that this might be related to my uh, dream job in the future, which I can do more services, like visiting the elderly or selling flags to, to accumulate more experiences. And to accumulate my vocabularies, I hope to read at least five English and Chinese books in the half a year. As for the long-term goal, which I've just mentioned, I hope to be a teacher in the future. As I love kids, I think that they're the most adorable creature in the world. And I think being a teacher is a fun career, as you can interact with people from all walks of life and gain different experiences. For my implementation plan, I set up a timetable last year, so I have to follow it accurately. And also, according to the talk given by Ms. Anson Chan last year, she suggested us to lock up our phone, and I would try to. And I think that family should be put the priority over everything. Therefore, I should balance my life between putting more time on academic and also my family. For rooms for improvement, I think that I should stick to my plan, which I just said is my timetable. And as I'm an easily distracted person, I should get focused on my work instead of putting other things on leisurements. And also, according to the American tale, an old eagle um, encouraged a small bounce by saying, never say never, which is never say never to yourself and you just trust, trust yourself that you can do everything. Before the end of my speech, I would like to tell you, the good news is there's room for improvement. When you're chasing for perfection, it gives you improvement instead. Then, therefore, don't feel sad when everyone tells you that you have room for improvement. Instead, it's a good news. And before the end of my speech, I would like to encourage you by uh, Steve Jobs, who uh, he presented in Harvard University in the ceremony, which is stay hungry, stay foolish. This is the end of my speech. I hope that everyone can gain from this. Thank you. Thank you, Liu Ho Ying. The next storyteller is Tan Wing Chi from 5F. Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to share my very own story with you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Tammy Chi from Form 5F. I choose history, geography, and chemistry as my electives. Since I was eight, I've longed to be a lawyer because of the social injustice in Hong Kong. Let me tell you a story. Back in the 1980s, my grandpa was accused of throwing cigarette butts out of the window and was fined. What's more astounding is the fact that my grandpa never smoked. Being a typical stubborn old man, he refused to walk into the court and admit his crime. We have tried to contact lawyers, but our efforts did not come to fruition. You may say, my grandpa is just getting his knicker in a twist, yet succumbing to the reality and no longer stuck st to his principle means so much to him that he suffered from depression. This got me thinking, is the legal system in Hong Kong nowadays biased? The rich can afford their own lawyers while the poor have legal aid. Yet, we, the middle income group, are trapped in between. Therefore, I have a steely resolve to be a lawyer. Let me move on to my strength. I'm a creative person and I can make use of the resources around me to solve a problem. Secondly, I'm diligent. A case in point is I can wake up early in the morning without sleeping in if I haven't finished my designated job. Lastly, I'm well organized and all my notes are labeled by my own color system. Yet, I have some weaknesses. For example, I'm forgetful when I'm under stress, so I have to double check everything beforehand. And also, I'm, sometimes I'm a bit too frank when I give feedbacks to my groupmates. For my academic achievement, I'm the top three in the form last year and I've got satisfactory grade, especially in Chinese and English. For non-academic area, 
I participated in a creative writing course uh, in HKAGE about English in the summer, and I've got the social award scheme, la uh, social award last year. For room for further improvement, I think learning to prioritize is very important. Also, I will engage in more activity related to my dream job. For my personal goals, I have to improve my mathematics results because the four core and the two elective are taken into account. Also, I would like to demonstrate altruism by engaging in more community services. Therefore, I have set up an implementation plan. I will read more books to polish my language skills. Second, I will donate money to the charity every month to help different people in different social strata, and I've been doing that. And uh, lastly, I would like to do more past paper to improve my mathematics. This brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Tan Wing Chi. And the last teller of today is Ken Wing Sam from 5G. Good morning, everyone. I'm coming some from 5G. My strength, I'm helpful. After helping the others, I feel happy. And I'm responsible. And last year, I'm the student in charge for the class bulletin board design. And every day, I will stay until 5.30 for completing the board. And I'm caring. For my weakness, I have bad time management. I always rush my homeworks and preparation of tests, quizzes at the last minute and I'm careless. All my marks are lost by careless mistakes, especially in mathematics. I'm messy and untidy because I'm lazy to pack the things up. For my achievement last year, I have joined the Girl Guides and Guidance Private Association to serve the school, and I have got an award for the Social Service Book to serve the community. And for the rank in top 40, I've got a better improvement on mathematics and geography. And in total, I have a great success. For my improvement, I want to set a higher goal. The goal can be more specific and have a monitoring plan. My goal this year is to serve my school, serve the society like the last years. And the most important, I want to be a nurse to serve the people who are in need all over the world. For academic, I want to rank in top 30. For non-academic, I want to achieve grade 8 piano, a healthy lifestyle, and engage in more school service. For more service, I've become the vice head of the Guidance Private Association these years. I want to help the junior form students and train my leadership skills. For the grade 8 piano, I have a lot, a lot of practice, and I think in my future I can teach the others piano as a job. For the healthy lifestyle, I want to strike a balance between co-curricular activities and academic to gain more other learning experience and spend my leisure time on doing some sports because work hard, play hard. For rank in top 30, I've done more exercise and pay attention in class in order to get satisfactory results and enter the Chinese university. For my monitoring plan, I've got a reminder for my families as a motivation and set a timetable to have a better time management. So this is the end. Thank you. Wow, the stories today are really great. Let's give all the storytellers a well round of applause. I will now pass the mic to Mr. Mo for dismissal. Well, in the past, testing, testing, in the past two, uh, few days, uh, um, Mr. Hui, Ms. Ho, and I were very busy with the rehearsal of their presentation, and we learned that some of them are very stressful, very nervous about the presentation, but what do you think? They have done a good job, right? Give them a big hand again. <laughs> and also, today we have a very good timekeeper, Jay, at the back. He has done a good job as well. Jay. Well, to end the... Okay, try again. Give them a big hand. Well, I know we are already overrun uh, by a few minutes, but I still have a, a few lines. 
to show you. Now I'm sure every Form 4 and Form 5 students um, has set the personal goal and also formulate their implementation plan, but more importantly is to implement the plan, the action plan, and also closely monitor to progress, okay? Now bear in mind it's always easier said than done. I better stay here. Okay, now, following the implementation, we have uh, two stages. In January uh, 2015, we have mid-year evaluation. Before the Parents' Day, we are uh, doing the uh, evaluation. You will be invited to do a questionnaire, and we'll collect good practices. Um, the, class uh, the class teacher will talk to your parents during the Parents' Day about your progress. And also, at the end of the school year, we have annual evaluation. Also, whole section for sharing, and a scholarship will be awarded. Now, bear in mind some tips for you. PIE, everybody know PIE. You got the plan, you have to implement it properly and check the effectiveness. E is the evaluation. You have evaluation regularly, maybe every month or even every week. A marine cat catches no mice. Do you know it? A fat cat, okay? Just sit back and relax, keep talking about doing, but without taking any action. Oh, so if you don't take actions, then I don't think you can achieve anything at the end. Well, a final reminder. Well, you have been asked to submit the latest version of the presentation file. Please do it before the form test if you haven't submitted. Submit the latest version, okay? Through the E-Class Classroom. Okay, thank you for your attention. This is the end of today's assembly.